Hey everyone, welcome to the final cut. Yippee Kai A, I'll be back. I am the law. Let, let's just throw some other catchphrases out there. That's right, we're looking at Expendables 2, the highly anticipated action ensemble film uh, that, you know, it just, you needed a sequel for it, all right? Because you didn't get all your action heroes in the first one, right? This time around, we got Sly and company who are sent on a very simple retrieval mission, but when that mission goes awry and they end up losing one of their own, they decide to hunt down the bad guy before the bad guy takes the five tons of weapons-grade blue plutonium out of the country and sends it off to some people who will do nasty things with it. Also going out and fi hunting down the bad guy to extract justice for taking out one of their comrades. Folks, Expendables 2 is, is a far improvement from the first one in so many ways. No offense to Sly Stallone, I was impressed he could pull off the first one altogether, but the first one did seem... I don't know, just kind of thrown together a little too quickly, okay? It wasn't looking for depth at all, and the action scenes were great, but some of the fights were a little long, and just things didn't quite seem mesh as well as they could have. Well, they worked out all the kinks and got themselves a director in the form of Simon West, who did do Con Air, so look for a slow-mo shot at one point with the cast, all right? It's just, you know... It's going to be there. Uh, but who handles action fairly well? He's no stranger because he, he did do Con Air as well as Tomb Raider and a number of the projects. Now, what I liked about uh, this was it was. It was all done better. Everybody had their roles and knew what they had to do. And within an ensemble movie like this, it's hard. It, it would be hard to feature everybody all the time, but everybody gets their due in front of the camera. Everybody gets their freaking awesome fight scene. Jet Lee does this thing in the kitchen. Oh my god. You just I'm just smiling, watching the whole time him kick ass in this one shot, uh, one take type of shot that they do with it. It was awesome. And, you, you know, you don't get too much close-up shaky cam. You can see, for the most part, what the action is doing. And it's a good thing because all these guys rock in what they do. I mean, you got Terry Crews in here, who just beating the snot out of guys, using his muscle. And, man, some of the things he does to these guys is just, just freaking, just had me chuckling and laughing. Uh, Randy Coutier is well is it here he just kicks some and everybody kicks some tail and not only do you have the regular crew of Sylvester Sloan Jason Statham Jet Li Dolph Lundgren uh, you got a uh, uh, Bruce Willis and Arnold Schwarzenegger back we get more screen time with them all oh, that it was so worth it you were screaming for it in the first one and you get it in the second one you got Terry Crews and Randy Couture as I mentioned before I may have mispronounced his name I'm sorry we also got new additions in the form of Liam Hemsworth which was great to see him you get Chuck uh, Norris is in your badass himself, Chuck Norris, and they acknowledge the fact of his reputation of being such a badass. That, that, I mean, they just play it up totally, which was great. And then you also got John claude Van Damme playing the villain, uh, who, who was beautiful as a villain. I want to see him more as a bad guy, because he just, you could tell, he just had so much fun and was so into the part. Uh, you got Scott Adkins in here as well, who was in Born Ultimatum, and he's going to be Smoke in the, I guess, now-released Mortal Kombat film that will not released yet but will be Mortal Kombat film don't let that get you down from this film though and you also got a fairly newcomer to uh, well the, to the franchise anyway in the form of Nan Yu who is the first female we've seen really that was playing an active action role and uh, she does fantastic she holds her own with all these other big named action heroes she really kicks some ass as well everybody does a great job and you get exactly what you expect from Expendables balls to the wall action. I mean, you know, you, there are some serious character bits in there, but nothing too heavy or deep. You don't need it. That's not what you're looking for from this. And everybody, their fight scenes are done so well. Everybody gets to shine. You, you know, it, oh, I tell you, I had an action movie geekasm there when I got to see Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Willis, Sly Stallone in the same shot, shooting their machine guns, taking out guys excessively over and over again. I was like... This is, I had a dream like this when I was a kid, when I was younger and saw them all separately. Seeing all these big action stars on the big screen at the same time was an action boy, fanboy, uh, a dream come true. And this movie definitely improved on what was lacking in the first one. Now, there are some weaker points in it that I could not overlook. One of them, granted, this is 
you know, the fantasy of action heroes. So, yes, bullets do miss our heroes for the most part, but it was a little excessive in there, and you could, it was hard to look really past that, but you didn't care because you had all these action guys on the screen. You didn't want them shot up at all. You, did, you wanted them untouched, right? So, I guess you could look past that, unlike in Total Recall, which was seemed to be a more serious film. Uh, in this one, you knew there's no seriousness about it, except for serious freaking action, okay? That's what this is. This is like the mad, 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 mad world of action movies, or the cannonball run uh, of action films. This ensemble cast that you want to see on screen and do what they do best, which is just blow shit up, and <laughs> they do that very well. Four stubs in my book, folks. It is an entertaining and fun film. If you've seen any of these action films that these stars have been in, definitely go see it. Everybody gets their due. The story is a lot better than the first one. Pacing as well. And the fight scenes are a lot better directed and handled. And it's just fun still seeing Jean-Claude Van Damme like you see in the trailer do his 360k. Oh my lord, folks. It is fun to watch. Just go in there. Expect your <laughs> at great action by some fine action actors and you will not be disappointed. And that'll about close it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, 